Um, I'm Rebecca York. I'm a peace building and psychology major. Um, and this summer I was doing an internship in Romania at a foundation that works with women who have been rescued from human trafficking. Most prominent memory that I have of being there. This morning I thought was just going to be like every other morning, but um, right as I was coming downstairs, the cook um, yelled for me and she said, come quickly, come quickly. Olga just tried to kill herself. The, the girl Olga was trying to walk down the stairs, but she was like, kind of, she kind of looked like she was drunk. She couldn't really stand on her feet. And the cook was like freaking out. She didn't really know what to do. And then I like got there really quick. And by that time she was like already falling over. So we were like all crowding around her, trying to figure out what was going on. I found out that she had ingested some cleaning solution that she had found in the bathroom. I told the youngest girl who was there to go to the bathroom and get the red bucket so that we could try to get her to throw up and told the cook to go get a glass of milk and to call the director and tell her what happened. The director came and we sat for another hour trying to get her to throw up and the director did not want to take her to the hospital. She didn't think that was a good idea even though I really thought she should be taken to the hospital. And so we were very unsuccessful with that whole thing and the two hours were the longest two hours of my life. The driver came and I told him, I was like, I really think we need to take her to the hospital. And he said, I do too, but the director doesn't want to. We went to her and we were like, we really think she needs to go to the hospital. And she was like, all right, take her to the psychiatrist at the psychiatric hospital. So we took her there first, saw the psychiatrist, and he was like, why did you bring her here? She needs to go to the hospital, the emergency room. We went over to the emergency room, which was right across the street. The social worker who had come with us and I went into the hospital. We took her to a nurse, and we told her that she had drank some cleaning solution. The nurse took her to a back room and said, okay, now you need to leave. You can't be with her anymore. And then she turned to Olga and said, you've resigned all of your rights when you step foot into this hospital. You have to do everything that we tell you to do. And I was like, really, really not okay with the way she was talking to her because I just felt like she was being really dehumanizing and just really rude. We waited, they like, pumped her stomach. And so then when we finally got back to the foundation, um, the director took one look at me and said, whoa, you don't look good, like what's going on? I said, I really think that we need to um, have all of the people that work here and all the girls come together and we need to talk about what happened. I led a circle process and it was the most amazing experience of my life, I think. Everyone kind of like told the story from their perspective and got down to like some really raw emotions. The girl that actually drank the solution was able to see how much of an impact this all had on the people around her. And the second time around, she just started crying and she was like, I had no idea how much you all care about me. Like I can see that my actions really had an impact on you. And that like really shows me that you guys do care about me and you don't just say you do, but you actually do. I don't think I'll ever forget that day as long as I live. It was uh, not traumatic, but like I just experienced so many emotions in one day. And yeah, it was really nice to be able to process that with the entire group afterwards. So yeah, that's my story.